GNM Live Studio Channel. I'm Sid Jacobs. I've been teaching at the Musicians Institute for about uh, 30 years, and currently I'm teaching at the Swarnabhumi Academy of Music in India. I'm going to be uh, giving a little bit of a jazz guitar series here at the uh, GNM.com. So right now I'm going to talk about some of the fundamentals that every guitarist should know, every jazz musician should know, and today my little topic will be guide tones. The three chord types are major, minor, and dominant. Now, what these chords are that I'm playing, they're called shell voicings. Now, inside the shell voicing is the root, this is the seventh, and the third of the chord. That's all you need. Most of us know larger, big chords, but inside them are the basic notes, because you don't have a chord without the third, and, and a seventh defines a seventh chord. So that would be a D minor seventh. D, the seventh, C, the F is the third. Now G seventh would be G, B, and F, or the root, the third, and the seventh. And then C, B, and E, that would be C major seventh. So the shell voicings are for D minor seventh to G seventh to C sound like this. Or the inversion of that root third seventh of the D minor, root seventh third of the G seventh, and root third seventh of the C major. It sounds like this. So once again, now this is a very common progression. It's referred to as a 2-5-1. Now if I take away the root, we have a rootless voicing, and what we're left with is the third and the seventh of the chord. Now, it doesn't take too much imagination to hear C, and you can check your work. Go to an unrelated key. Without the root, the root is felt. Hmm. See if you can do it. Ma, you check your work. So this is... So the way that the guide tones, the third and seventh, people say that the third and the seventh are the guide tones. Now that's partially true. It, it's, it's factual. But the guiding action is the seventh moving to the third, hence the term guide tones. So this is the third, the seventh, moving down chromatically to the third of the G seventh. This, the seventh of the D minor seventh, moving chromatically to the third of the G seventh. And now F becomes the seventh of the G seventh, moving down chromatically to the third of C. So the guiding action is the seventh moving to the third of the next chord. Now, in another lesson, we talked about scale step from above, half step from below. So if we went scale step from above, the skeleton or the shell, that's the basic guide tone. That would be scale step to the third or scale step to the third, scale to the third. And we feel that. So the, that's a basic line to get through those changes. Now you can phrase it how you like, but that's the basic line that gives us the impression of this chord progression. Now if we were to go chromatic from below, we embellish the third. So here's the third of the D minor. There's the seventh. We don't do anything to the seventh because the seventh is, is going to, uh, it has a function. And then we embellish the third of the G seventh. Hmm. Hmm. 
see, we can, we can feel the chord even with single notes, and we haven't played an arpeggio, we haven't really played a scale. All we've played is the guide tones. With two chromatic notes, the, before the third we have that. So. The, the sound before the minor third, we, we do this. Now that's chromatic from above and chromatic from below, because two chromatic notes from below would give us this sound, which is a little awkward to sing, a little awkward to hear. So the sound to the major third would... And you hear the difference between that's the major and that's the minor. So even if we went through a chord progression, another lesson, we, we did this song, All the Things, minor, 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 major, 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 and then minor. So you could feel the chord progression just with the thirds in this embellishment. This common progression, D minor, G seventh to C major, or sometimes it's D minor, G seventh to E minor, to A seventh, to D minor, to G seventh, to C. So this. Or with scale step from above. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you'd like to learn more about the series, please visit uh, gnmguitars.com and uh, look for the, uh, uh, the instructional system. And I look forward to seeing you there.